Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to talk about the tips. The previous video was the mistake. Today, we're talking about the tips to start the game in the best way possible. Now, today, we're going to go over all the little things that are going to help you that you might not notice even when you are playing the game because some of those are a little hidden, okay? So, first tip. Did you know that you can travel through the menu so you don't have to go outside the random play and then go into the garage and then go into the car and then click the destination? You just have to open the menu and then go to and click travel on the bottom, the bottom line, click travel, and then you will be presented with the options that you have to uh, as, as a destination. Now, you might not have all of the destination in the game in 1.0 because some of those are connected to the main scenario. So if you didn't reach that point yet, you won't be able to teleport to that city, but you won't be able to do that anyway in the car either. So keep that in mind. If you see like a question mark or if it's not available, the reason is that you don't have it unlocked because you didn't progress your story uh, that far yet. Okay, so keep that in mind, but it's a cool thing to be able to teleport on the travel button on the menu because that way you don't have to wait for like two or more uh, loading times so it's going to be way easier for you to travel around second tip did you know that you can check get the polychromes from completing it and you can revisit and re-experience the characters story and the phaeton story from your house so what you need to do is to go to random play on the front of the sofa where you are sleeping you can turn around and it's going to be a vhs if you click the vhs you will be presented with the panel and you can now choose which character do you have already done which agent story do you have already done you want to revisit if you open it it's going to tell you every show you every single story bits you can replay it rewatch it even the trial moment so if you want to do some combat with soldier 11 let's say for example and you don't have the, so the soldier 11 but you did their story now you can go there and redo the, the combat part by clicking on the correct mission or if you miss something in the story if you want to see it again so that's a cool thing that to do that it's possible to do in the game and that's where you get some polychromes because you do get some polychromes by doing the agent missions now another tip that is, is actually pretty useful is going to save you a lot of time is going to be the difficulty of the main scenario when you start the game it's going to ask you uh, where do you want to go and if you want to to play in casual mode or in hard mode challenge mode i suggest i heavily suggest that you guys play in casual mode because the challenge mode doesn't really make the enemy challenge it just bumps the hp up so that way it takes you more time to kill them which has no reason they don't give you more xp they don't do anything else uh, there's no reason for you to play in in uh, challenge mode it's going to if anything slow you down tremendously and considering a lot of people are not too fond of the tv system it's going to be combined with the t t tv system it's going to be a kind of a problem it's going to be the, the the vibe and the feeling and the experience of the first part of the game is going to feel sluggish it's going to feel slow it's going to take you a long time you need to go through the tv so i strongly suggest you at least click on casual now you can switch it back at any time in the options so it's always there if you change your mind but in my opinion that's what you should do okay now the next tip there is a special secret coin that gives you a lot of really valuable materials it's called the hia coin i believe it's referring to a actual place or or company that it's in the game that i don't have i don't know about but all the lore masters will be more than happy to tell you now this hia coin can be found in very rare occasions in very specific tutorials in very specific places of the map so there is a little incentive for you to go around and click at least everywhere and check and clean the place because those uh, coins are really 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 cool now what you do with those after you get at least one coin obviously what you need to do they're probably going to be more places in 1.0 but in in cbt3 there was one place in the sixth street at the end of the road there was a trash can that you can talk to maybe it's a maybe it's a re reference to hsr i don't know there's a trash can that you can talk to and by talking to this trash can they take the coins 
and by giving them one coin they give you back one material and usually it's actually pretty good materials like crowns for your character or crowns for uh, the bang boo very powerful material very high tier materials and by interacting with it it also tells you how many prizes there are left and it's i think it's an indication of how many coins there are left to get for you to get so now it was i believe 15 in the cbt3 but i'm assuming in 1.0 it might be even higher and even even more than them they're going to be scattered around even Illumina square and stuff like that okay so now uh i'm going to chuck in a little tip which was also a mistake uh really quick the five star selector the tip is it's going to take a long time to clear so don't worry about it make your team with the characters you have access to it don't worry about the selector you won't be especially free to play you won't be able to do anything about it now the now there's a tip about the uh ramen shop the ramen shop is part of the daily most of the time and also gives you a food buff for the for your next three fight now on your next three fight that's fine if you do it immediately but if you're trying to uh log in do the daily and log off and you don't plan on fighting it's going to be a little bit of a problem it's going to lock you up it's going to soft lock you a little bit what do i mean when you have the food buff on you cannot eat ramen again, because if you try to, unless they change it in 1.0, this is what CBD3 uh, did. If you try to eat again, it's going to tell you you can't eat again until you finish your food buff. So if your food buff is three combat, you need to do three instances of combat to finish it. Otherwise, it's, you're not going to be able to uh, eat ramen. Why it might this, this might be a problem? Because the when you do the daily, the day after, you still have the, the previous food buff, which means that now you need to do three combat that there are not progressing much besides the the stamina consumption and then you need to eat ramen again and then you need to do the combat again so that way you are free to go for the next combat now it would be an easy fix if they actually just let you replace it and it would always count as like oh you ate you ate again okay daily done because it tells you to eat it doesn't tell you to consume so keep that in mind it might be something to uh, remember when you are playing the game like okay, oh before I log out, let me let me finish this uh, this ramen food buff. Okay. Now, uh, next tip: the workbench. The workbench is all, has also a dedicated video that I made a long time ago. So if you want to like scroll back and go scour a little bit the videos, there are a couple of uh, tutorials there. Now, the workbench I'm going to mention here as well. It's very, very, very important for your learning of the game. The learning curve of the game is not that steep, but there are a lot of things that you don't know that they exist and how do you know that they exist by checking up the workbench it's called the workbench and it's inside random play where you actually start the main scenario but it's not a workbench it's not a work there's no crafting there <laughs> i don't know why it's called the workbench it's basically a an encyclopedia when you can go there and click every single aspect of the game and it tells you exactly how combat work how time progresses how uh, resonia collection work all the different cards that you can get from the you know, hollow zero everything about the game everything everything all the little things so please go check it if you are unsure on how a certain mechanic works or how anomaly builds up or how the combination between anomalies and how they switch together uh, is going to work you will find it in the workbench so go check it if you don't know what is happening okay now another tip that was also a mistake in the other video so i'm gonna do it again but very very quick you should be waiting until level four of bardic needle level before you use your materials to gamble the cd sets okay you will be feeling at a certain point like oh i really want to build my main uh, i have shit cds uh, i don't like this i want to get better ones but if you're not level 40 on your account which equals to level four on the bardic needle progression you won't be able to uh, focus focus pull and if you can't focus pull you are basically waiting to fail the rng because the rng is going to be very brutal you have six different sockets 
on the CD panel and you might get the right stats but on the wrong set or the right stats with the with the good set but on the wrong number like you already have one and you got another one that is good but I needed two yeah that's where that's where you wait for level four because at, until level 40 to be honest until level 40 the combat and the game that you're doing during that time is not that challenging for you to need a perfect gear or an actual functional or finished uh, cd set so you shouldn't worry about it until 40 and then after level 40 onwards you should try to keep there and try to like focus craft focus pull certain uh, numbers of the cds that you really need okay so keep that in mind that it's really important now there is a place second uh, another tip there is a place for you to train to get a little better uh, handling on your characters a little better uh, practice on your combos on your on your flow of combat and parry right you can practice all of you all you want in the uh, train menu there is a free training when you can go select any character you own sadly that you own you can try characters that you don't have they should hopefully they fix that hopefully they change it. it's not a fix but you know what i mean right you can select any character you own to go there and fight in any uh, team composition you want even the wrong ones and then you can also use the menu to spawn exactly the encounter that you, you would like to fight. You can spawn a big monster, you can spawn a boss monster, you can spawn a little guy. So you can practice their moveset, you can practice dodging, you can practice, practice parrying, switching, chain reaction. So keep that in mind that it is there. There's not just scripted tutorial for the characters, which are still there. But on the left, you're going to find free training. And that's what you're going to click if you want to free free train for your character okay now the next tip is for the combat it's probably going to be a beginner tip and maybe most of you are going to be like i knew that but i feel like there is a lot of people that don't know exactly so i'm gonna throw it here during the combat you are going to do damage to the boss to the monster and you are going to have your skill ready your ultimate ready and the, the this any monster every monster including the boss is going to have a bar filling that's the daze bar whenever the daze bar goes to 100 percent the boss is going to be stunned and not only is going to stand still and do nothing because it's like in uh, impaired or stunned whatever but also it's going to take a way bigger amount of damage the multiplier of the days is going to be 125 plus ranging from like low to very very high so hold all of your skills all of your bursts hold and do them when once they are dazed because if you use all of your things and the boss is not even dazed you are going to miss out on a lot of damage because everything you are doing is now multiplying with the daze multiplier and the boss is going to take 100 200 more damage because you waited okay so that's a little tip for the combat okay now last tip for today is going to be the observation data it's a very important tip if you don't know what observation data is if you go onto your personal panel for your internet account it's going to give you a little brief on what is what is uh, now available for your account and at the bottom it's also going to tell you the requirements for you to be able to level up to the next tier of uh, of internet levels now this tier always tracks the amount of observation data and the challenge data that you have acquired until that point so where do you get this observation data it looks like a yellow globe for the observation data and the challenge data is a red red globe where do you get those by doing the main scenario and by doing the main scenario and picking them up, finding these globes inside the TVs before you leave. Because if you leave and you missed one, it's going to be two out of three. It's not a big deal, but it might be it might be become a big deal if you keep doing that, if you keep missing a lot, you will be left with not enough for the requirements that it asks you for level 40 let's say you need like 125 and by missing one here two there one here two there you're gonna end up having to redo the story in those missions having to redo the tv as well and explore even more than before because you missed the observation data that's the yellow one 
The red one is a little easier because you just have to do the challenge modes, the challenge uh, missions that you have. Go to the challenge panel, do them, uh, clear with the enough time or with the good time that it tells you to do, and then you will get your three, it's, I, th I believe it's three spheres per mission. So keep that in mind, observation data is going to, has the potential to gate you from leveling up. So keep that in mind, it's very important. So whenever you do something, do it once, do it well, so you can forget about it. Otherwise you're gonna have to go back, okay? So that is it for today. Uh, hopefully those tips helped you. If you have more tips for everybody, please leave them in the comments. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments. If you wanna say anything, comment, okay? Otherwise, that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe for more ZZZ videos. And I will be streaming the game live whenever it comes out on July 4th. I will be streaming on twitch.tv forward slash Jagazin. Thank you for watching and see you next time.